It's fall, y'all. Almost. With the start of fall just around the corner, I am really pumped about making some Trim Healthy Mama chai lattes. And I didn't used to love chai latte, but as my palette has changed, as I've gotten a little bit older, I really do appreciate a good, creamy, smooth chai latte. I am going to show you a recipe from Joy Filled Eats and kind of make a little bit of a modification, not really too much, but she's got a great powder that you can keep on hand in your pantry to make chai lattes whenever you want. And it doesn't use any um, sugar. It doesn't use any instant tea mix or anything like that. It's very trim healthy mama friendly and it is going to sit in the S category. So it's a high fat, low carb type of a beverage. And the really great thing about this particular tea recipe is you can use whatever tea bags you want to use because the objective is to brew fresh tea or steep fresh tea, I should say. That way you're not having to use instant tea powder, which can be a little more highly processed than, um, than you probably would want, but I'm sure it's fine, but I'm going to brew tea. All right, y'all, I'm sharing this chai latte recipe as a part of a collaboration. Rachel from Day to Day Joys has put together this collaboration. There are quite a few people who um, have said that they would participate. I'm gonna link a playlist in my description box below. I would love for you to go and just check out all the other videos that are participating. This is Basically, we're sharing anything fall related that we want. And I thought about decor, I thought about the other things, but really the chai latte recipe was something that screams fall to me. And because it's not quite the autumn solstice, I am not quite ready to decorate for fall. So I don't know, I, I, I'm soaking up the last few days of summer. So let's get to making this chai latte mix. Okay, here's everything I'm going to need for this instant chai mix. I've got my homemade super sweet, which is just erythritol and stevia powder in a one cup to one teaspoon ratio. I've got some coconut milk powder that I bought in an attempt to make some milk chocolate candy. Um, so I've had that in the pantry for a while and it came in handy for this recipe. And then I've also got MCT oil powder, and this is not in the recipe, but I felt like it would add some good medium chain triglycerides and kind of make it more creamy. And then I've got all of my spices that I will need. I've got cinnamon, ginger, ground allspice, cardamom, cloves, and nutmeg. I will be sure to link the recipe for this instant chai mix in the description box. In my usual fashion, I am not actually following the recipe to the letter. I kind of go with my gut a lot of times on how much of each of these spices to use. And because I am a huge fan of nutmeg, I tend to almost quadruple the amount of nutmeg. And now it's time to go pop this on my blender to get it uniform. And there we go. I like to store this in mason jars, but just any airtight container would be sufficient. Now that my mix is all ready to go, it's time to steep some tea. Today I am choosing some oolong tea and I'm going to steep this in about eight ounces of water. I generally like my oolong to be extremely strong, so even after it's done steeping for the four to seven minutes, I usually leave the tea bag in my cup so that it just continues to get a little bit more bitter, which I know is not the norm for everybody, but I really enjoy bitter flavors. 
However, because I'm going to be mixing in some of this powder, I do not want to leave that tea bag in my mug. I'm going to use about a heaping tablespoon of the powder in my tea cup. And then I'm just gonna use my frother to get that well blended in. Now because this is an S beverage, it's not gonna be an all day sipper. And I wasn't going to be having any other snacks alongside of this chai latte, so I decided to add in some collagen powder for protein. So that's the chai latte instant mix recipe and I have made mine in some oolong tea which is my absolute favorite. I'm really curious to know what this would taste like if I were to do it in like a chamomile. That could be interesting. Yes, that tastes like fall in a mug to me. I know everybody is excited about pumpkin spice lattes and the fact that Starbucks has them out already. I could give or take them, you know, they're fine, but they're not my thing because they're not Trim Healthy Mama friendly and even the at home versions of them I'm not super, super excited about. So some chai latte though, I am definitely on board for that. I again encourage you to go check out that playlist in the description box below. Any of the items that I've used in this recipe, I will try to link in my description as well. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.